Okay, this problem wants us to find the point or points at which this particular equation has a horizontal tangent. Now, in order to do that, we have to first find what's called the derivative, and then we're going to set the derivative equal to zero. What is a horizontal tangent? That's a tangent line that's horizontal. So if I have a, a line that's horizontal, we know that it's going to have a slope of zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this formula. Now, the problems we've done so far in this section, we had an x sub zero, but we don't have that given this time. So this time, we're just going to use regular x. So our answer is going to have an x in it, and what we'll get is an equation that we can use to find the slope at any particular value. Again, that's called a derivative. That'll be the derivative of f of x. Let's do that now. Let's do the, the work for it. We're going to do f of x plus h. I'm going to do that off to the side over here. So I want to find f of x plus h. What this means is I'm going to put x plus h into both the x's in my original equation. So it looked like this, 3 times x plus h squared minus 6 times x plus h plus 1. Then I need to expand this out and I'll put it back into the formula. So if to do this, I'm going to, first, I have to take care of the square. The square comes before multiplication. I gotta square that first. So I'm gonna do three times. I'm gonna square the inside one, that's x plus h times x plus h. If you multiply that together, you're gonna get this, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then I have the rest of it, I can expand minus 6x minus 6h plus one. Next, I'll expand the three into that. Three x squared, six x h, three h squared, and then I have the rest of it. There's no like terms, nothing more I can do to simplify this, so I'm ready now to put this whole entire thing into there in place of the f of x plus h. I'm also going to replace the f of x with the formula because since we're given that, we can put that in. This time we don't have an actual y value, a numerical value, we just have our function, which is the original one here. Let's put that all together. Okay, so on top we're gonna have 3x squared plus 6xh, 3h squared, we have all this. Okay, so all that's gonna go in there for the first part, that's f of x plus h. I'm going to put a minus sign, and now I'm going to put in my function. 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. All this is going to be over h. So this is the part that we want to uh, simplify. It's important to know that you got to make sure you put parentheses around the entire thing, or you could reverse all the signs, which is what I'm going to do here in a second. Either way, you want to make sure that that negative sign gets distributed all the way through. That's the area I see students making the most mistakes is forgetting to uh, take that negative all the way through. Now, if you were to expand this all the way through, I'm going to go ahead and reverse all the signs, and then that way I can just get rid of my parentheses. So I just reversed all the signs here, and now we can continue. Once you reverse the signs, you're going to notice some things that you can cancel. 3x squared cancels with this one. Minus 6x and a plus 6x cancel, the 1's cancel also. Okay, what I'm left with is things only that have h in it. So now if I rewrite it, I'm going to get this. 6xh plus 3h squared minus 6h, all that's going to be over h. Next, what I need to do is factor out an h and cancel it because I want to find the limit. I don't want to divide by 0. Okay, so I'm going to do limit h goes to 0, h comes out, 6x plus 3h minus 6, and I'm going to cancel out the h's, and then I'm going to put a, a 0 into this h right here, and what I'll be left with is 6x minus 6. So this that I found, this is called the derivative of f of x. What this is used for is now I have an expression where I can put in any x value I want and I can find the slope at any point on this particular curve. So this is called a, a derivative. Now, the, the problem asks us to find out what point or points does it have a horizontal tangent. 
So this expression right here would be your derivative. What I'm going to do is I want to set this one equal to zero because the derivative is the same thing as a slope. If I want a slope of zero because horizontal, I can do that and I can solve for x. So I'll do that up over here. Okay, so I have 6x minus 6. I'm going to set that equal to zero. If you solve for that, you're going to get x is equal to 1. Now the question asks us for at what point does that occur. So I need to put 1 back into the original equation. So I'm going to do the y value, which is the same as f of x, is if I just take 1 and plug 1 into each of these, then I can get the y coordinate and write my answer as a point. Okay, so I get 3 for this one, minus 6 plus 1. 4 minus 6 is negative 2, which means that my answer, my y equals negative 2 here, which means that I can write 1 negative 2 as my answer. I need to write my answer as a coordinate because it's asking me specifically at what point does that occur at. So let's talk about this. What does that point represent? Actually what that is, that's the vertex of the original quadratic. If we look at that one and graph it like this, it only makes sense that the horizontal tangent is going to occur down here at the bottommost part of the parabola, and that's where the slope has a the slope is going to be zero at that point. That's going to be exactly the vertex. So yeah, I could have actually found the the vertex, and that would have given me another place graphically where it's equal. But uh, in this case, because we're doing calculus, we want to do this with the uh, calculus approach. But this is what the meaning of that is. Uh, if you look at the graph, you should see that that's the vertex at 1, negative 2.